Good evening, guys. I'm out here in my playground. This is where I go after work to get things done for the market. But we ended up getting 11 mode, as you will see. I forgot to do a beginning, so that's why I'm out here giving you a beginning at night. So we really do appreciate you watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy the video, guys. Have a good night. Here's the first one for the day. It's pretty long because it's two weeks, but we're gonna get it done. Number one done for the day. Rachel's finishing mowing over there. I'm mowing all this here. Well, I'm done mowing this. I'm gonna go ahead and rat, weed eat real quick and we'll be done number two and three for the day. We're gonna go back. Anybody know what these are? What are these things? They're everywhere. Number four done. I don't know what the heck them bugs are. Okay, we're done number five, off to the last six of the day. And then we're done. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Wait. So Carl showed you guys the box outer bugs, or he showed you the bugs and said that we weren't sure. I found them online and they're called box outer bugs. Um, and they eat everything. Yeah, well, they eat, they, I guess, on the plants of primarily female elder, elder trees. So, I don't know where they're coming from, but they do winterize, like, inside houses. And where we saw them was inside the fence. So. They're probably just as bad as stink bugs. Yeah, they do say that when you kill them, they give off, like, a pungent smell. They, it did say that. Rachel just learned all that by looking at the internet. Yeah, I just, real quickly, I didn't even do that much research on them. I just, real quickly, because I wanted to make sure that, is it something that we should have to take care of? Does Bifen take it out? No? I don't know. I, we're going to have to do more research. So, if anybody knows about the box elder. Whew. So, um, it's a hot one today. We yeah. got five done. We have six more to do in here, and we're done for the day. Yeah, nice, right? So I'm going to prune some of these bushes. And yeah, I'm not going to prune them all. I don't know if you noticed. Somebody made a comment about how we prune the bushes. They'd be mad if we left and didn't prune everything. Well, and you know what? Um, if It's called, you guys got to communicate with your clients. They yeah. Know, they know what we're doing. Yeah. I mean, we communicate with our clients. These have been our clients for multiple years and that client so. we told uh she asked if we could have it done by the seventh and we said we'll do it in between mowing so we knocked out half then and we'll knock mm -hmm. out the next half right before yeah, the seventh like and next time we go or later on this week mm -hmm. and the same thing we're going to prune up some of these because this is another project we're going to be starting if we're in here mowing and i can shape up some bushes once you prune them, it's going to take a month or two for them to really put on any big growth anyway. Yeah. But, and then we nip them when we come back. Like the other one we started, um, we're going back there tomorrow because we needed a whole day for that. And we needed to catch up on mowing. So we put that mowing for tomorrow. We'll prune more. And then we'll start to mulch on that. Yeah. Then we'll be back over here. I'll show you what we're doing here. This is... After we're done that one, we'll fill, fully finish this one. Yeah, we're back and forth between projects. That's how we've always worked. That's um, how we've been for 12 years and, and all our clients know. Yeah. So, and that's what you guys got to do. Communicate with your clients and you won't ever have your clients yelling at you. Yeah. For not finishing something yeah. when it's 90 degrees or 85 out or you're trying to catch up. I know, because of the rain. So we're going to get out and hit this and then we will be done. Okay.
So the bush is done, you guys seen. I mowed that one over there. Rachel mowed the rest. I'm gonna go ahead and start weed eating all this and I'm gonna clean up that bush some more when we actually spade the beds and stuff. See all the danglies underneath it? We we're just trying to get some of the overgrowth to take it with us. But let me get the weed eating because we're just about done and look, they're gonna put the fence up, guys. It was supposed to be up a couple weeks ago, but I guess they're gonna do it. We're done this one, all these. I messed up and cut that down to three and a quarter. We're gonna see how. I mowed that first one. Have you guys ever done that? I mowed that first one all the way down there and it's mostly weeds. So I put it down to three and a quarter and I forgot to raise it when I got over there on my second pass, I realized. So we cut that one down to three and a quarter. So with this, we're pruning everything in the front here. These big trees, we're gonna lift up some of this. We're pulling them to bushes right in the walkway out and putting two blue point junipers. And we're putting four emerald green arborvitaes from the fence to this bush line here to block the neighbors. And then mulching everything for that one. Not bad. Quick, easy little project. It's gonna get hot. It's gonna get hot? Yeah. Not that hot out, it's only 82. If um, it feels 80, I don't know if it feels hotter than that. Yeah, I think it feels more like 90. But we're done, it's 3.30. Yeah. Are you guys done on 3.30, at 3.30? We didn't do much. We didn't do much? No, we mowed 11 yards. Yeah, we did pretty good. And pruned too. a bush. We yeah, did. just think if we left earlier, we would have been done at like 12 31 o'clock. Well, we did leave kind of early. Like 9 30, I think. Nine, maybe. We went out and did three first. Yeah. So, yeah, so. not bad. Tomorrow we're going to get back to that other pruning because that needs to be mowed. She's like two weeks and four days. Donna? How'd that happen? We skipped her last time, remember? We didn't go to her. We were supposed to go back to her. I think she's a little over two weeks. Two weeks and a day tomorrow. Oh. So, hers doesn't grow too much. Oh. I, I think it is. Oh, yeah, because we didn't do them the same time as last. You'll have to look. No, we just did her last Monday because we did the pruning. Was it on Monday? No, right? I don't know. I'll have to look. Yeah. I thought it rained all day Monday. I thought that was the Monday before. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, maybe because I forgot that we had a full week of rain last yeah, week. Yeah, like nine inches. That's so. why. Because now it's hot and dry, and we're not predicted to get any rain in a fortnight. So <laughs> there's a chance on Thursday, what was it, four days ago, it was an 80% chance. Now it's down to a 35% chance. One extreme to the other. So. What are you going to do? Just go with the flow, I guess, right? Yep. So, yeah, let us know if you guys know anything about the box elder bugs because I'm curious and I have to do more research. Yeah, I thought that, I don't know, I've never seen that many before on a fence. Yeah, that was but a you lot. Guys, were you guys seeing, they were scattered already. There was like a hundred of them in one little cluster. So, what yeah, was when it, I opened the door? Yeah, so like when I opened the gate is when I saw them and then they just like started scattering everywhere. And I brought Carl over to look at them because I wanted him to get a look before they all went away. And then it was pretty easy to find. All I did was typed in like black and red bug and it came up right away. So Yeah, um, or you just take a picture, I think, and just look it up on yeah, well, like Rachel yeah. looked it up online. You guys can get information on it. Everything's online. Yeah. So I'm just gonna have to look at a couple different resources and see what they say. Like if it's not an issue, I just think that there's so many of them and the shingles on the house I think would be that's why they would want to maybe treat the house. They go under there? Under shingles? Yeah. It says oh. that they can make their way into the house. They like uh, wood. Well. Is apparently what they like. Yeah, exterminator so. for that. Yeah. So, all right. Well, we're done. So, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy, guys. Or at least try. Have a good Have night. Have a good night. Hey guys, you want to see something real quick when we end the video?
Let's see. Oh, yeah, look, look, she flew out right there. See her? That's our bluebird. Let me show you guys her eggs real quick. They haven't hatched yet. They haven't hatched yet? No. I had to show them because it's usually on the other channel.